Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect and I have my finger on the wrong key. <laughs> I was trying to run forward and I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. What's wrong with me? Uh, I hope you guys haven't been enjoying the new mic. Like I said in the co-op, I'm going to be asking this in a couple videos because I'm recording these all today. Um, unfortunately, I ran out of my backup videos. Uh, so I'm pretty much re, re or not re-recording, but recording a whole bunch of stuff. And I don't even know where the heck I'm supposed to go. Let's go to the hospital. And uh, so... I'm pretty much asking in the first episode of each series what you guys think of my mic. Mainly because I know some of you enjoy my Sonic ones, where others of you like my Mass Effect ones. And so, you know, I'm kind of asking everybody. I won't be asking any more than the first episode of that I record with the new mic. So you don't have to worry about me repeating myself throughout the episodes too much. Besides, I hope you like it. Uh, I'm really enjoying the new quality. I just... Put, uh, Increases my gel capacity by one will be useful now. So I guess I'll buy it and you're you have nothing to offer me All right um, God, you're still sticking around jeez freaking old prune um, But I'm really liking it I listen to the quality of it when because you know listening to it on the computer and listening to it on YouTube is different YouTube has a different way of compressing it, so sometimes it sounds different, like lighting, for instance. Lighting is always uh, different between YouTube and what the actual recording is. Uh, I'm not going to talk to you quite yet, because I know you're going to give me a little spiel, and I'm not ready yet. We need them! Alright, uh, and so the audio is one of those things, and I really like the results of the co-op episode. It definitely had a much richer tone, sounded a lot better, a lot more professional in my opinion, and a lot less noise and hissing in the background, which is awesome. Okay, now I'll talk to sexy lady over here. Yeah. Hey, sexy lady. I guess. Oh, I took Udina's offer. Spectre status. I know, I read your email. Congratulations. <laughs> Seems small compared to what's going on. You ready for the responsibilities of a Spectre? Doesn't feel real yet. Maybe it'll sink in. I don't know what duties I'll have. Everything's a mess right now. What do you think of all this? It's the end. Oh, you want my actual opinion. Impressive record. You deserve this. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. He said we'll have the official ceremony soon. Ooh, Once ceremonies. And after? Any plans to come back to the Normandy? Good question. I guess that's up to Adina. Sure. Let me know. You feeling better? I'm fine. Other than the pile of paperwork the doc's gonna throw at me. Sorry I'm so distracted, Shepard. It's just... What's going on? What a rude Her doctor throwing on. paperwork at we a sick person. Rawr! Okay. <laughs> Eat the paper. Good. That's good news. It is. Did your sister make it to the Citadel? She did. But... Her husband was killed in action. I'm sorry, Ash. Maybe I should uh, comfort her. Oh wait, not Sarah the right time. For the military life, we were all surprised when they got married. I wonder how many families are getting torn apart by the Reapers. I don't want to think about it. Seems hopeless sometimes. Don't blame yourself for this, Ashley. I know, but I'm her big sis, you know. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance. My head is bloody, but unbowed. What's that from? Invictus by Henley. One of my dad's sappy poets. It's about not giving up. Right. Oh, I thought it was bludgeoning. I missed the meaning on that one. Nothing fancy. Just some words about the family. It'll be tough. Keep me posted, all right? Will do. And thanks, Shepard. Ah, oh, she's so sweet. And sad, but sweet. I hope she comes back to the Mormony. Mormony. <laughs> uh, my ship's now the Mormony. We shall pledge alliance to the deity Bomba Bomba. Do you believe in Bomba Bomba? He gave me golden platters once. Unfortunately, I used it in a buffet. I don't even know where the heck I'm supposed to go. I should probably figure that out. I'm just like blindly going wherever the heck I feel like it. So, oh, you know what? No, wait, I didn't pick up stuff because the Reapers showed up and screwed up my plans. Jerks. Uh, this person I couldn't find. 
So I don't know if I didn't find all the pillars that he required. No idea. Um, Cinadel, there's the Metagel formula. Doctor in the Cinadel needs a new Metagel formula created specifically for aliens. Find a new formula and deliver it to her at the Memorial Hospital. Not really finding anything. Oh, yeah. The uh, Eclipse person. Wasn't that the person that... Yeah, let's go to c sect and see how that's going. Nope, oh, wrong. Dang it, pushed the wrong button. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. I do that. All right, let's see. Wrong thing. Actually, while we're here, let's just see if that guy has anything... Uh, he probably doesn't, you know. Not, let's not even waste our time going to somebody who's not going to be of use. All right, so we want to go to the embassy. And take over the world. Okay, spaceship, but still. Now we should get a little bit further ahead with this uh, Andaria or whatever thing. I have to talk, talk to that one girl, though. Let me know when you've had a chance to talk to Sedaris. Ah, oh, you're not helpful. I did. All right, let's talk to that one girl at the club, which I can't even remember her name, but you know who she is. She's the one that looks pretty. All right. Open, open. Thank you. Let's go. Bar. There we are. Bow, bow, bar time. Doom, doom. Ah, clubs. Oh, he puked all over his pants. Ew. Smelly. I don't think any of these people have anything. I really wish I could just talk to you about the freaking power system. Instead of having to, like, figure out where the heck I'm supposed to go. Alright. So, I think, yeah, over here. See what she has. Look. Who's here? So what's on your mind, Shepard? The eclipse, right? How am I supposed to talk Bailey into letting Jonas Sedaris out of prison? I've already leaned on the council. Bailey is in direct defiance of their order. So talk to him. One boy scout to another. Chain of command and all that crap. Take him to dinner. Talk dirty to him. Whatever works. <laughs> oh... This isn't helping. We'll I already talked to Sedaris. I'm sure. Sedaris led me to her right hand man. I tried to convince him to take over the lead. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do besides that. I can bug him some more, but I really don't want to waste any more time on that right now in this episode. Because I mean, I pretty much just did that at the end of last episode. And I'd rather do, you know, either complete it or do something else. So let's go ahead and just do something else. I'm just gonna quickly figure out what I what I can do, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I haven't really figured out what I want to do, so I'm deciding just to talk to these guys, see if they have any new information. Me, Commander. C -Sec wants my top of the line. You gotta come through with a couple artifacts. Yeah, he still wants artifacts. This person, I talked to the second hand guy. He doesn't want to talk. I went in here. They don't have anything useful. I tried talking to the general person. He doesn't have anything useful besides the, we need to talk to Azari or whatever. And she has nothing useful, so I'm pretty much in a dead-end loop there. I'll figure out what I need to do later on. But right now, I'm just ending that quest currently. Do you have anything? Unless you can find a new source of weapons for c -Sec, I'm putting together a task force to stop the Blue Suns myself. I'll get you your weapons, General. Alright. I appreciate the effort. So yeah, he still wants the weapons, which means I still have to find the artifacts, which means nowhere useful. I don't think I'm going to get anything done here. So let's go back to ship and fly somewhere and shoot something. Because <laughs> that seems to be the only option I have. I was hoping I could finish a little bit more in the questing department here, but I can't seem to find anything of use. So let's go back to Normandy and fly, fly away 
on a giant purple no, elephant. I'm, I'm talking, Do Doesn't everybody you fly in space on a purple elephant? Or is that just me? Awesome purple elephants, so. Alright, I think there's nothing useful here, so let's just go this way. Hello, Dora, how are you? Alright. Hey, Normandy's already in space, how awesome is that? Don't even have, like, on dock or anything. More messages? What is this? We have an upgrade waiting. Simply access the terminal at Dr. Sosone's office at your convenience and choose how to implement them. I see what that is. Uh, yeah, not in this episode. Next episode. We already wasted a lot of time this episode pretty much doing nothing of use, which kind of sucks. So, leave orbit. Let's go keep doing that. Let's see if we can refine those artifacts and not get attacked, by the way. <laughs> Last thing I want to do is get attacked by the Reapers. Oh, really? Uh... Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Yeah. Faster than light jump successful. Let's see what's in here. Ah, oh, crap. Oh shoot. Enter, 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 enter. Now leave. Run. Run. Evasion successful. Maybe they followed me in there. God, they're everywhere. Oh, really? I just want this. Oh, I can't make it. Shoot! Ah. That's scary. Ah. Dang, how am I supposed to get that thing? Come on, a little further. I'm really hoping they aren't gonna like be angry at me. Sweet. Artifacts. All right, escape, escape, and run, 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 run. Make it, make it, make it. Faster than light, jump successful. Whew. That was scary. Yeah, I found all of it in here too. All right. Re-enter. Jump. <laughs> ah, eat that. Okay. Me with the diplomats is the primary mission, so let's go ahead and start that one. Maybe we can get a little bit ahead doing so. Um, cuz right now I'm on a whole bunch of little mini quests and I was kind of hoping to like complete them at the same time. Oh, fuel depot. Thank goodness. I totally need fuel. This thing doesn't run on air. Needs fuel. All right. Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. This sounds scary. And hope this doesn't start another war. <laughs> This Krogan is just a glorified thug. How can he speak for his people? By demanding respect. And I suggest the Solarian show some by starting with my name, Erdnot Reeb. Then you can tell me why I'm supposed to give a piss about the Turians. I've already got Reaper scouts sniffing around my own planet. Reeb, spare us the bluster. I'm not a diplomat and neither are you. So stop pretending. And yeah. just tell us what you want. <laughs> oh, I'm deadly serious. You need our help? Then here's what you're going to do. Cure the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Hmm. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatras? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. 
You hid behind us while we saved you from your own cowardice. Your citadel exists only because the Krogan stopped the Rachni from swallowing it whole. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Angry Dodger's eyes. Leave has a point. Antagonizing him won't solve anything. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. I don't know. Both of those answers sound good to me. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the genophage. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. Unless you enjoy watching infants born without a heartbeat. It's the only thing that's kept the peace. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take <laughs> years to formulate one. That's where you're wrong. There was a Solarian, Malon. He took some kind of twisted pity on our females and tested a cure on them. You worked. Sticky. But that scared the piss out of the Dalatras here. So she ordered her goon squads to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. <laughs> yeah, no sure. Lies. Those females are immune to the genophage, and they belong to me. Dalatras, is this true? How will curing the genophage benefit my people? <laughs> You won't get mutilated by the giant robot army? <laughs> Maybe that would be a useful thing? I don't know. How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Exactly. The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt for centuries to come. Let's uh, I was so tempted to push that button. setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I was so tempted to push that button. <laughs> I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. In my eyes, she's being the bully, or he. I'm thinking it's a girl. I mean, she's the one who's like, Oh, we're gonna keep these females hostage while you can't... It's like, seriously. I don't know. Javik or Edie? Edie's been pissing me off lately, so Javik it is. With, with her whole, I'm gonna put a clone right in front of you. Ugh. <sighs> Why? Why? Why in front of me? What did I ever do to you? Alright. So what was it that I was going to increase? Oh yeah. Either fitness or adrenaline rush. See what adrenaline rush will give me. I can either decrease health and shield damage or increase time and increase weapon damage bonus. If I go through fitness... I can either go increase melee damage or increase health and shield. I'm thinking I'm going to do this one with the damage because that seems very nice. And then the next time I'll do uh, fitness or maybe one of the ammos. And this is where I'm going to end the episode unless there's a cutscene then I'll just play the cutscene. And then I'll end it. So we basically next episode start right on the planet right at the beginning of the mission. So that seems like a nice cut to me. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I never like talking to Solarians. Not unless they're begging for their life. 
<laughs> no offense, Reeve, but let me handle this. <laughs> not known for being tactful. Just remember, these females belong to me. As the one who cured the Genophage, my word will be law over all Krogan clans. <laughs> I'm curious. How did you get the other clans to let you represent them? It was a time-honored tradition of intimidation, threats, and violence. Krogan don't waste energy voicing opinions. We just crush everyone else who has one. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. That's a cool little scene right there. I like that. Run! Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dalatras authorized this herself. Once an enemy, always an enemy. Permission denied. We're being waved off approach. <laughs> Land anyway. Exactly. You're too polite, Shepard. Reeve, don't. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't going to go well. Hold. Stand down. Hold your fire. Hello. Restrain your colleague. We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. You should apologize now. <laughs> I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable to read. And I'm here to take it back. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist you remain under guard. <laughs> <laughs> I can handle this, Reeve. So Fine. Can my shotgun. <laughs> Push. I've had a quick, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Wow, he's angry. Careful! Watch the containment shield! They were much smaller in my cycle. <laughs> As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? <laughs> Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. Touch me and I'll rip your head off. <laughs> I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Ah, uh, this one's going to be an interesting level. I hope picking him wasn't a mistake, but I mean, we do need all the firepower we can, and they are definitely firepower. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and save this episode right here. I shall see you all in the next episode. This is Mr. Your Willy signing off, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to join the epicness. Adios!